Morning, mate. I'll How's it going? Morning. Hello, my name's John Palfrey. Welcome to our series of Energy Smart Water and Thermal Energy Solution webinars. Today's webinar is based on our AC Thor Solar PV Power Manager Unit. It's a device that thinks relative to excess PV being available. And once upon a time, everyone's ex excess PV went back into the grid, probably still does to a large extent. However, people are becoming more aware, as are um, the, uh, the energy companies, that if the excess energy can be used in a more advantageous way, um, then that's certainly what we're looking at doing in regards to creating the um, Enamax Smart Cube tank to become a solar battery, a thermal battery. We're able to extract and hold that, that energy and in turn utilize it for, as I said, domestic um, or hydronic or even pool heating purposes. The AC Thor device available in two models in the I series or the 9S series. And today um, we're uh, lucky enough to have a, an installer, in fact, a bit of a PV expert, a gentleman by the name of Peter Bender from PS Electrical. G'day, Pete, how are you today? Yeah, good, John. Harvey, how are you? Peter, I just wanted to, you know, talk through the, the, the particular application um, that you've uh, put the AC Thor into recently. I believe it's a residential dwelling in, in Melbourne, Australia. Um, what was the reason for looking at that particular device, Pete? Uh, the, uh, there was a fair bit of solar on the roof already, about seven and a half kilowatts worth of solar on the roof, and I was trying to find a way that we could uh, adapt a hot water system into it and use as much of the solar uh, capabilities as possible. Uh, there is a way to do it via a straight connection, but it's not very intelligent uh, doing it via timers because it's not working on uh, the excess solar, whereas the AC Thor allows and monitors the, the solar production and therefore any excess solar can be redirected directly into your hot water system as opposed to being exported to the grid, for example. So it's a lot it's a lot smarter use of the solar energy, putting it into the hot water system. So that's how I started researching it. I found it, uh, saw the controller, had all the functionality that I needed. And, uh, and so started talking to Javier and the team at uh, uh, Energy Smart Water and Thermal Energy Solutions and, and was able to source a system, a water tank and a controller, and then uh, connected it into the, uh, the system over at, uh, at Essendon. And, producing hot water within about uh, three hours of installation. So it was great. So, so just tell us about the application a bit more, Pete, so people can get their, their head around. A, a typical metropolitan dwelling, mate? Uh, yes, yeah, a, a three bedroom home uh, has uh, usually four occupants, uh, two adults and a couple of uh, teenage kids, and, uh, and they had a gas hot water system. Yep. Uh, it had been in there for about 20 years, and they were saying, they were quite uh, upfront about it, saying we think eventually it's gonna uh, die on us and it's it's in a bit of an awkward place, so can you come up with a solution? So uh, with a plumber friend, we uh, we ended up finding the uh, the, the right tank uh, because it works off a heat exchanger, it's always fresh water that's being delivered uh, and they were happy with the solution because they had a lot of solar system, a lot of solar panels on the roof and for them just getting the, uh, the small export fee was great, but this is a, a lot better use of their solar power. So yeah, standard traditional home, standard traditional uh, uh, gas hot water system on demand, and then with the, the, uh, the NMX tank and the AC Thor, it's covered all their water needs and, and, and extra, so. Since the install, Pete, have you been able to get any data or, or see what the AC Thor is, is actually doing, mate, relative to solar yield and, and as you say, you know, into the, the thermal battery, the Enamax tank as such? Is, have you been able to download some information and have a look at it in that regard? Uh, it, yeah, it's all cloud-based and on the web, so we can, we can look at it from anywhere we are. I can see it from my car at any time when I'm driving from one location to the other. And it's actually quite a good sales tool. I've been able to show other people that are thinking about it 
oh, this is an installation that was done in Essendon, have a look at this. And they can, we could see what the temperature of the water was, how much uh, solar power is being di di diverted into the tank at any particular time. So because it's all cloud-based, it makes it quite easy to uh, get the information and be able to show the client and any prospective client of the, uh, of the control system. Okay, so going forward then, Pete, I know you, your background is um, uh, commercial electrical work. Where do you see this sort of device, mate, entering into that, that space, I guess, of commercial, industrial? A lot of roofs these days are, are covered with PV. Are there other opportunities, mate, just outside of the standard domestic um, sort of application we've been talking about? Absolutely, absolutely. Any any small com any small or large commercial that has any solar panels on the roof, it can obviously have a, an AC store connected into it. Uh, there would have to be some changes in regards to how it uh, how it determines what's excess uh, solar, and if there's any export, then it would just be rediverted onto the uh, onto the AC Thor and into the hot water tank, the, the hot water tank. Uh, it's also grid backed up, so if there is any uh, if there is any lack of solar, it can always be backed up by the grid, and that's how it determines how it gets its uh, its maximum temperature and gets to its temperature. It uses predominantly solar but is always grid backed up as well just in case there's a uh, quite a number of, uh, of cloudy days or non-solar days so any commercial application would have the capacity to be able to do it yeah fantastic that that sounds really good all right pete again thanks very much for your time today we'll be talking to people similar to peter bender who've had experience with our products and componentry in the field uh, we think it's very important that we understand from that aspect of an installer and a person who's dedicated their, their work towards what's happening in the solar PV field today in being able to um, tell us you know, a, a live story as such relative to, to a recent um, installation. Thanks very much, Peter. Appreciate your help and time. Anytime, thanks very much.